Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of June general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Aquarius, as you can see, the setup here for today's reading is completely different than the usual reading. Um, I already have your major arcana out, which is the star card, and we will get a clarifier for it. This will be a short reading because as I'm doing this reading today, today is my birthday. However, I want to share my birthday with my YouTube fam because you guys are the reason that I'm able to do what I was born to do, which is read and connect with you all spiritually, okay? So thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me and for celebrating this solar return with me. I turned the big 38 today, so thank you guys so much for tuning in i am very very grateful okay so when i was meditating over you guys energy the song that i heard was who do you love by bernard wright i'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to now for all of the readings i've been guided to look at the first three cards and i already did i'm gonna be honest i did look at it prior to um me starting and look at the cards you got here i, I promise you i didn't put these like this i'm, I'm being sincere you guys have major arcanas, okay? Boom, boom, bow, okay? So you have Pisces energy here with the High Priestess. You have the Sun card, Leo, and then you have Taurus, Libra, and also Aries energy here with the Empress. Whenever you get the Empress, the Emperor is never too far behind. Those are divine counterparts, same sex, however it applies to you. Some of you all are dealing with a spouse or someone that you see as someone that you will move forward with in a long-term commitment. You and this person's first, middle, last initial could be B, T, J, C, M, W, H, or K. Okay, for you or your person's first, middle, last initial. And again, they could be a Pisces, a Leo, Libra, Taurus, or Aquarius. You had strong Taurus in the very beginning. When I was doing your pre-shuffle, like almost every card was connected with um, Taurus energy. Now, we also did just recently leave Taurus season. So something could have went down in Taurus season. I don't feel like bad. I feel like more so, because with the song, Who Do You Love? At the beginning of the song, he's talking about he's never been in love before. And I feel like some of you guys are like, whoa, this may be like some type of shock to you all that you feel so strongly about someone. Or this person may feel like this about you. Now, if you're in a relationship that has, is it already has a foundation, it's already rooted. It looks like you guys are going to the next level of marriage. Because if you look at her, she's going towards the sun. The sun is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Your, your day is never going to start without the sun coming up. Whether it's clouds or not, when the day starts, the sun is definitely up, okay? Because that denotes the energy of a brand new day starting. Some of you all intuitively know. Like, you can just feel like this is your person. And I'm going to tell you, both of these people are divine counterparts, to be honest with you. She is the spouse to the emperor, and she is the spouse to the Hierophant. And remember, I did mention, I got a lot of Taurus energy in the very beginning, and the Hierophant is Taurus. So for some of you all, you may have gotten engaged in Taurus season, you may have met someone in Taurus season. Someone can have very strong Taurus in a chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I feel like their sun sign because you do have a sun in the middle. Their sun sign would be, it could be their sun or the moon because you have the sun here. And then right here, she has the moon energy on her head. So their sun or their moon sign specifically could be Taurus. It doesn't have to be. I'm, I'm just getting that because I did pick that up. Whatever the case I feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone who is not used to being very affectionate or they're not very used to being um, lovey-dovey. And that's why I'm hearing the song again, Who Do You Love? Like, I'm hearing it in my head as I'm talking. Like, for some of you all, this you're dealing with someone who is not used to putting their, their emotions and feelings out there. They're used to keeping it to themselves. Because the high priest is pretty good at keeping secrets. So I feel like this person is pretty good at keeping their emotions to themselves. Yeah, because <laughs> if you look at all of them, they all look emotionless. Look at her, emotionless. You can't read her feelings or emotions. Even a son is like, mm-hmm. It just looks very unbothered. Empress, mm-hmm. You know, it's like you wouldn't know how this person feels until they tell you directly. Now, this could be your person or this could be you. Now, if you're single, I'm going to say again, some. I really do feel like some of you guys are getting ready to meet someone who is going to be a life companion because both of these are lifelong companions. Sincerely, that's that's really the energy there. Okay, so let's see what we get for you today, Aquarius. I'm gonna tuck the cards in here randomly. 
because we already seen them. If I shuffle and you get one of these cards again, it's definitely a double confirmation that you are meant to have that card. And the energy is very much aligned with what the messages we've gotten so far. Even if you don't get these cards, you know, that doesn't mean that the message doesn't resonate with you. It just means that this is just double confirmation. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me go ahead and shuffle. Wow. You got the tower and then you got the two of swords. This could very much be your energy or you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. Also with the tower, you have Aries, also Scorpio energy. So I'm going to say again, what I'm getting is that some of you guys may be dealing with someone who is very guarded. She is literally has her arms crossed across her right where the heart area is. And then sword up means yes, sword down means no. Sword is communication and mental. It's like this person may be so strong against communicating how they feel that it's going to cause some type of breakdown of a relationship. So I'm getting two different situations with this. Some of you guys are meeting someone who is like completely smitten with you and has a difficult time communicating possibly because of something that happened in their past. Someone is stuck between a rock and a hard place here. I also want you to notice that the water is behind her. Water is the emotions and feelings and she's blindfolded. So I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody who does not know how to share their emotions. They don't know how to be emotional or they don't like expressing it. And for others, I'm getting... Somebody feels as though they made a foolish mistake. <clears throat> like they jumped into something without us that wasn't very solid to begin with. Someone feels as though they didn't think a situation through is what I'm getting. And then I do see this peeking up right here. You got the emperor. Remember in the beginning you had the emperor. So I'm telling you, some of you guys, this is either a spouse that you are already connected to. Or this is someone that you're going to get married to. I never get this with a tower, but I feel like this tower is not going to last long. You know, tower, that's major arcana, so it's a definite energy. I feel like this is just the energy of someone being scared. And as I turn this so I can shuffle, I've seen this peeking up, nine of swords. Somebody's in their head a lot. This could be you because that is your element swords. Unless you're dealing with a fellow air sign. Ooh, somebody may have been left out in the cold or feels abandoned, or you may be deciding to leave a situation. Because you feel like this person could be emotionally manipulative with the, um, I almost said the devil. With the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, the devil is Capricorn. And we don't have that here, but I'm, I'm seeing the devil. Somebody could be emotionally manipulative. Like, they don't like to show their cards. And as I say cards, if you think about a magician, magician, you know, sometimes they do little card tricks and things like that. And, and I didn't do that intentionally. And you got the four of pentacles holding on for dear life. This could also be someone holding back, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. See how the pentacle is by the heart. And remember I said Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with Capricorn. You have pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person feels like it makes them feel powerful to be able to hold back their emotions or feelings. Because he's a king. Kings and queens hold positions of hierarchy and power. Someone feels very empowered to be able to hold back their feelings. Even with this magician, look at his face. You can't read his emotions. It's like kind of smug. Let's see what we get for you guys today for the beginning of June, Aquarius, okay? And I almost said Sagittarius. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, specifically Sun. Whoa. Yeah, two cards flip out. Wow. So you got the Strength card, Major Arcana for Leo, and then you have the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Spice, and Scorpio. But also, this is happily ever after. Some of you guys, okay, I'm here right now. Close mouth doesn't get fed. You see how she's like, holding this lion's mouth but is she holding it or is she prying it open you get what i'm saying like i feel like somebody's being prideful the strength card that's leo but it's also the lion is the pride somebody's being prideful i'm getting typically i get that she's taming this beast or trying to keep him from making the big roar a big to do but if you notice they're facing the happily ever after the family card but I'm, I'm telling you what i'm getting right here is somebody is like some of you guys could be dealing with someone who never seen themselves get married, never seen themselves having children in the family life. But the universe is like, I, I, I. deep down inside, you want this true love. Because here's the thing, Leo, this is a card of Leo. Leo rules the heart. In the heart of the matter, somebody wants to have a happily ever after. Somebody wants to be married. Somebody wants to have a family. But they're fighting it. And I don't think they're going to be able to fight it for long. I feel like the universe is going to trick. If something's going to happen, that's going to trigger them. 
And they're not going to have a choice but to be honest and, and raw and vulnerable. You see how she's nude after covered up because you guys know we do have prudes here on um, YouTube <laughs> who will report you for that. So I just want to, you know, cover that up really quickly. But I'm, I'm seeing a, a connection coming together. This could be happening in Leo season or in Cancer season, which is right directly after Gemini and after Gemin after Cancer is Leo. So between Cancer and Leo season, somebody could be getting in a relationship or establishing a relationship. There also could be talks about having children, starting a family. This will make somebody very happy. You got that rainbow there. There's definitely happiness at the end of every rainbow. There's a pot of gold. You know, so pot of gold, gold is stability, money, abundance. Somebody sees abundance as establishments with family and, and someone that they love long term. And that's why I said with the song, who do you love? It's like this person knows who they love, but for somebody in a situation, you or your person, somebody's fighting it. Again, I'm going to say I don't feel like they're going to be able to fight it for long because they see how happy they could be in this union. Again, if you are already married or if you're already in a relationship, it looks like your person may have lost their need or desire to express how they feel to share their emotions with you but i feel like they're realizing that that's necessary in order to keep you guys um family intact in order for you know you guys to remain happy in your union it, it has to be expressed is what i'm getting here and they know it and i feel like they're going to share their feelings with you i feel like that's going to happen for sure okay so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.